Hello my friends, I'm Chihondo. Welcome back to Judgment. We are getting pretty close to the end of the game here. Uh, there's basically two more things I need to research. And I don't even really need to, but I'm going to. One is this soul mending here for extra health. So we keep an eye on Demon here. She has 129 hit points now. And that didn't seem to do a heck of a lot. She didn't gain anything. What's up with that? Oh wait, no, there it goes, just didn't refresh. Alright, that put her up to 135, so it's not a huge jump, but we're going to take it. And the other thing I want to research is, where did it go? Here, under uh, Materia Medica for another boost to health. I need one more research kit and about 15, 1600 research. So I've got about half that. I just need another research kit. So let's go and see about getting one of those. And the reason I'm grabbing these last bits of health is later this episode, we're doing this. It's going to be amazing. But first, we have to pick up a research kit. So where can we find one of those? That's not too crazy. Well, that looks pretty easy. Sounds good. Well, let's go. Let's get her done. Let's get it done. Speaking of getting things done, I've got to maneuver my table and where I'm sitting because apparently my white cat would like to jump on me. Come on up here, buddy. Come on. You scream, that's code for I want to jump up. Come on, jump up. Don't get distracted. Anyway. Alright, so eight monsters, four of them effortless, four of them pretty rough. We can do this though, no problem whatsoever. Could probably actually auto resolve it in all reality, but. We'll do it. Do it the normal way. There you go, buddy. Thanks for jumping on me. Now stand somewhere where I can see the screen, please. Please, sir? Sir, please. Thank you. There we go. They're up here. Let me get rid of the much easier target first, and then work on the really hard target. softer target first. And then we'll worry about the tougher target afterwards. Because these leeches just take forever to beat down. Alright, so Andy took a savage beating, but that's totally fine. We, the important part is we got a research kit. We can head on back. Awesome. speed while they're walking across. And that is absolutely marvelous. Now we're just waiting on the research. Okay, that's the first warning. just yet. I was taking a quick look through here. The, uh, the armors are interesting, but I still think I'm better off with Kevlar. So I'm not going to bother actually building any of that armor. First, let's deal with 
this attack. On the subject of Kevlar, yes I do. Some Carathinax. A Carathinax and Possessed. Alright, so this shouldn't be that bad at all. This should not be bad at all. The only time I guess I might have been concerned is if they brought some fallen angels. Because I've only got one person, that's Harry. I can shoot the same distance, so it'd be a bit of a pain to deal with, but... The rest of the stuff should all be just fine. Speaking of Harry... That's a 50 cal shot straight to that ghost. It never had a chance. Search we need. There we go. Timmy on the caper. Timmy is our master researcher, of course. There's other people that are decent at it, but Timmy really is the the star. And what does this trader have? Anything I'm interested in? Hmm, that's actually not bad at all. Is that worth not having as much healing, though? That's a good question. Definitely don't want any of that stuff. Oh, I guess I could have just bought the research kit. I didn't even need to go and get it. Can sell those off, though, that's for sure. off a bunch of this excess junk. Not that it really matters. We're, like I say, we're finishing the game this episode, so we don't really need money anyway. And no, I'm not going to go and rescue that person, even though it would be pretty easy. We're not doing it. We don't need more people. What we need is to buzz through the research, get the last health upgrade, and be done. Oh, I'm a bit short on cloth. Okay. Well, it's queued. We have two workbenches, so it shouldn't be too tough to get. There we go, now somebody's working on it. still loves me. Not that it makes a heck of a difference, but it might as well, right? And we are just ten research away from this. There we go. There's Mercurial. And John the Exorcist. Not matter in the slightest what I have you do. Crafting right now. Even though you don't have any crafting ability. Wow, okay. Anyway, um, sure, being a cult researcher, I guess. All that matters. At this point, we are only interested in basic red research. Sleep well, Timmy, we need you. In the meantime, Andy's healing 
up from. Okay, they actually gain a fair bit of health back while they're sleeping. Okay, so that's not bad. So I guess I was thinking about that, like, early on in the game before you have access to medicine, so you can't even make the infirmary. I mean, what would you do? Because they gain back health so slowly, you'd be really screwed in the early game. But since they gain back a, a decent amount while they're rest, like, while they're sleeping, they at least get decent healing once in a while, so... That's a good balance. I was a little concerned about that for the early game. Anyway, uh, 540, so we're about a fifth of the way there. Could actually go get another trader from Hammersfeld. By the time we get out there, they'll be ready. Yes, they are. Don't give me that crap. <laughs> I don't know why we even bothered with that. That was effortless. Thank you, anyway. So let's get another trade caravan. Now that I know that the game has books of research, because we saw one for a cult, I'm hoping this. I'm assuming there's some for research for the red research, and I'm taking a chance that maybe this trader will actually bring some. It's not certain, of course, but it's worth a try. Let's speed up some more. And somehow their trader beat me here. Anyway. Reset all skills. Oh, okay, so if I screwed somebody up, I could fix them. Now, that's very interesting. That is very interesting indeed. You are a constructor. Nothing there is going to help you. You're doing some mining, so great, have some mining. And the reason I say that that is very interesting is I wanted um, Andy to be able to use the rare weapons so that she could use the uh, where did it go the transmutation gun because it is a much better Uzi but I didn't give her rare uh, tech weapons I'm starting to wonder if maybe that would be worth... You know what? I'm going to buy that book. Uh, nothing else here is really relevant to what I'm doing. And we don't need more holy words, so we can sell those off. Sell that extra armor. Just get rid of a bunch of this excess wool. Alright, close enough. So yeah, I'm going to reset Andy. Because I'm assuming at some point... It was probably here at level 3, instead of rare firearms, which you don't need for those. I'm hoping she has a chance at um, tech weapons, which is what this thing needs. Um, so it's a bit of a I'm, it's a... I'm taking a chance here, basically, is what I'm saying, but I think it's going to be worth doing. I was wrong. She did not have it. Well, that's unfortunate. So she never had a chance at tech weapons. That is truly unfortunate. Well, I guess I just go ahead and put her right back where she was then. Only maybe I'll do 
marksmanship here instead of agility. Nah, agility's probably fine. Agility, auto weapons. Yeah. That's truly unfortunate. And agility and auto weapons. Alright, well that was a bit of a waste, but oh well. We tried. have the research we needed. Oh, that's not nice. Um, we're probably going to have the research we needed before this silly re ritual's done anyway, but... these out at insane speed. Which is cool. And he's right by the food table, so he barely has to stop at all for a quick snack. Which is awesome. Oh. It actually resets your equipment too, does it? I noticed that, or that would have been really bad. <laughs> Going to the final battle with no armor on. Wouldn't last very long. Oh, you moved to this one, okay. Weird, but okay. I assume they'll go up by about the same amount, about six points or so. Now, we have to get jumped at the base first. That's fine. Alright, let's grab that. So she's at 135. Yep, so another six hit points. So like I say, it's certainly not a huge amount. But it may help, you know, basically taking one more hit. Kind of busy. We don't really have time for all this. Thanks anyway. About to have a base attack, which I'd like to finish off here first. Oh sure. You wait till that, and then you give me extra red science for free. That's nice of you, but a little bit too late. is still trying to catch up all the uh, symbols for all the research we were doing. <laughs> That's pretty awesome. Ghosts and legions. Carathanac, ghost, and a single lich. No problem. No 
problem whatsoever. In fact, we can zoom this up a little bit. attack to try and stay up. Easy mode. Alright, so let's see if any of our combat group needs hit points. David needs one. People that aren't in the combat group are not interested in healing. We need one. A lot of people apparently needed one. Alright, let's go get all them healed up, and then it is time for the final showdown. that everyone? Uh, yes, I ignored that. That's fine. Anyway, the battle is not really relevant anymore. Oh wow, that really kills our trade cooldown. Anyway, not relevant. It is time to come and deal with these 23 fellows. Now, just before we get there, there is something I'm going to do that's going to really help. Even more than getting those last health bonuses, which I'll show you when we get close to it. <clears throat> and it looks like we're going to have a daytime one, which is good. Some may call this cheating, I call this just abusing an existing mechanic. All this time we've been just living off salad, so we have not had any kind of bonus. I'm going to put on all our food bonuses. The work speed one obviously doesn't matter, the map speed one I guess would have made it quicker just to get there. The important one though is the 10% accuracy and 15% evasion bonus. Which these guys get, even though they're really far away from base because they can still use food from the base while they're walking. Don't ask me how, I don't know. Alright. Here. We. Go. Now, there's so many of them. It's not unlikely I'm going to get swarmed at various points, so I'm hoping to find stuff in s relatively small groups, like here for an example. There's not too, too many of them all at once. first group I should have been paying attention and counting, but I wasn't. So I have no idea how many that was. Five or six, maybe? Probably about a quarter of the monsters. So David's lost about a quarter of health. 
from his total pool. now. We need to push forward. Get rid of these fallen angels. Actually, David can retreat. There's no sense losing him if I don't have to. Wow, there we go. So unfortunately, Skeet was a victim, but we have victory. And with that, we have victory. They don't have a proper, I guess, um, like a, a, a final like cutscene or anything. So it's really just this text here, which we'll read. So your team has salvaged some weird essence from the Hellgate. We can research these portals, see what you can learn. That's as far as the story goes in the current alpha. The final release will have a more detailed story, and we'll have even more stuff. And thank you for playing. So that is it. So, we'll take one last look at the base here. I'd like to thank everyone for watching the series. I hope you enjoyed it. And it took 30 episodes to do it, but, and the loss of one character, but we only lost the one the whole time, so that was really, really good. So thank you again for watching the series, I hope you enjoyed it, and if you have any recommendations for future series, please feel free to leave me a comment. Otherwise, have a good one, folks. See ya.